Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Ooh, old gate. Uh, and we're continuing on along the East Coast Main Line today. Last time out, we, we started on the East Coast Main Line. We were trying to get a few things sorted, trying to work out what we were doing. I made a mistake. I ended up getting the train into some sort of automatic mode that didn't didn't pan out so well. And now we're trying to uh, figure out what we're going to be doing from there. So. At the moment we're doing 96 miles per hour. I will be reducing the throttle shortly and we are headed towards, I believe Hatfield is the next station we're going to be passing through. We're on the Flying Scotsman, so that's the express train where we're going to be going from London King's Cross to, uh, I need to be getting ready to reduce throttle here. Given we're on a downhill gradient, I believe I can really reduce the throttle. Okay, and I believe this is uh, Hatfield. This is Hatfield Station, I believe. So we'll pass through Hatfield. Next up for us is going to be Welling Garden City. Yes, I think that was Hatfield. That could have been well. I couldn't have Wellham Green. Uh, the road on the side. No, there's a road on the side of Hatfield, and is there an industrial park on the other side, which would which would be this. All right, let's uh, bring the power back in just a little bit. Oh, we're, we're going to find out very soon. I think I think that may have been Wellham Green, and we're going, we're about to head into Hatfield shortly. So yeah, trying to recognize the area, trying to see what's going on. Let's take a look outside, shall we, for a line side view or something. There you go, there's, there's the train. Very nice. Uh, any other chase view, line side view, map? Well, it's it looks like there isn't a line side view on this train. Oh, there goes another train. I'd say electric train, that one is, it looks like. Very nice, we've slowed down a little bit going to uh, give it a little bit more power and ah, now th hold on this could be Hatfield coming up we went around that corner and across this is this is most likely Hatfield though I don't know about the extra routes I'm not, I'm not entirely sure uh, again we can just zoom in here and see if there's a sign that tells us where we are and it doesn't. Now this train really needs to be kept at power, doesn't it? Let's get back inside. It really needs to be kept at power to go anywhere. Looks like those diesel locomotives are waiting. I'm going to assume that... I'm going to assume for now that that is Hatfield. If when we go around we, we have a swing over to the... to the right. Our next signal is yellow. Hello. All right, that's a double yellow. That there means throttles are reduced. Oh, wow. We're on some sort of a bridge here. And I'm actually going to start applying some brakes here. Yeah, I'm going to apply brakes. We need to start slowing this train down. Alright, we'll acknowledge that. Let's get that brakes. We're assuming the next signal is red here. Even though I know it says yellow, but we're assuming the next signal is red, so I'm going to slow down to about 40 miles an hour until I can see. Alright, 30, 30 miles an hour is fine, until I can see that next signal ahead of us. Right, so if we just potter along at this sort of speed. Now that must have been Welling Garden City. Now we're getting somewhere, some excitement in this. Right, uh, is it W, isn't it? It's W and X, right. Let's, let's, use, let's actually use W and X here for our throttles. Right, our brake... 
pressure. Yeah, we're good. We are off the brakes here. I want to see what the next one is. I know, I know some people are going to point out, it says it's green there, but if we're taking this in a realistic mode, we cannot see that next signal. So I am taking the assumption that that signal is red at this point in time. I don't know where the signal is because I don't know the route. But it is red as far as I am currently concerned. I mean, sure, I know it's not actually red. If we potter along... I mean, this, this train takes a lot of power to get going. And it doesn't really sound as... I mean, it does sound like a Class 55, but not as... The Class 55s were known to be very aggressive, very growling engines, but this is... I don't know. It, it sounds not as, not as great as I'd hoped. It's green. All right, we can now just crank up the power. Now, interestingly enough, that four-aspect signal, I would have... Um, uh, wheel slip. I, I can hear that. Go away, wheel slip. There we go. That light came on as well. And if you notice there, that started flashing yellow as well. Right, I think that we must... Where are we? I've, I've completely lost any semblance to where we are. I think we went through well in Garden City. We must have gone through well in North as well. So now the next stop for us must be... I don't know, Nebworth? Perhaps, I mean, we're going, we're definitely going around a corner. And we should, the motorway, or the A1M, as it were, should be somewhere just there. I suppose that isn't... No, that's not actually shown. See, that's a shame, because if the A1M was shown, and when we zoomed out, we would have been able to see it. Alright, uh, this is a problem, getting this train back up to speed. Hmm. That's all right, though. That's the whole idea. I mean, it's, it's much, it's much more fun to be doing this. Let's see, if, let's see if we don't get some wheel slip here. Hopefully, we won't get any wheel slip, but we, we shall see. And we are on a downhill gradient at the moment. You can actually see the downhill gradient, so that's good for us. That should help us accelerate. And I think that's us in full power now. Now, obviously, the, the engine takes a few seconds to respond. And we're good on the, we're good on the power there. Our brake pressure's fine, and we are slowly climbing in speed. All right. I mean, all, all in all, apart the graphics side, and sounds repeating aside, I do like this this simulator. I do like Trains in New Era. I, I just think if they were to recreate this in a modern engine with updated sounds, I think it's good and updated graphics naturally because of the modern engine. I think it's just going to be absolutely incredible. I think this must be this must be Nebworth, right? Waiting room doesn't say anything. I thought every station is supposed to say where it is. It can't be Stevenage, can it? Uh, let me think. I mean, it, it's possible it's Stevenage, given that that looked like a road that went above us. So that would be the main road. So if we have another road that goes up of us and then we see a, a major junction that should be interesting are the clouds coming over is it going to start to rain i feel like it might be starting to rain soon i don't know i don't know does this does this have dynamic weather i don't know i'm learning along with everybody else Alright, so we've definitely got a, a curve. What was that noise? Curve to the left. 
No, you know what? I think this is Stevenage coming up. Yeah, I think this is Stevenage coming up. Having a look at that rail and where that rail just came from. I think this, this next station is Stevenage for us. I think. So it should literally be around the corner, a bridge and then the station. Or we'll be going over. We might be the bridge. Is that the station right there? I think. Which would be right, but there should be a bridge somewhere, or we should be on a bridge. No, there's the bridge. Okay, no, yep, yeah, this is, so, that is, uh, d -d 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 Six Hills Way. That's Six Hills Way, I think, yep, and there's Stevenage Station. Okay, good. So this is Stevenage, and then we should have a bridge on the other side as well. I hope this is Stevenage, otherwise I am utterly lost. Yeah, and there's the bridge on the other side. Great. So that's one of the A roads. And then we should be... Uh, we should be heading off for some more bridges. We should have a, a, the A... The motorway, the A1M, should be crossing over us. Not in... In a little while, I think. Although I don't know how well... How accurate this all, this all is. So far, it seems to be fairly accurate. At least on the bridges. All the overbridges and everything. Uh, not not so much on everything else, but it seems to be okay on the over over bridges. All right, so would this be the? I don't know what that is. That might be the major the major bridge. I'm just trying to work out what that. I don't know. I really don't know. I am, I am still trying. I am still trying to work a few things out here. Window open. Window open. Yes, it does. Lovely. Okay, I do think those were the bridges. Are they roads? Yes, there we go. Those are. That was a road. That's the A1. Uh, which is interesting because there should be another one coming along right here because there should be another road that connects up to the A1 so I think that was the A1 so that's the motorway or well, we say it's a motorway it's the A1M it's not really a motorway it's a it's an A road that's pretending to be a motorway it has A road issues all right so our next stop we shouldn't have another stop until I don't know what the next station is uh... I, I haven't got a clue what the next station is. It's a little town, I, I think. Yeah, I think it's a little town, and that should be in that should be in maybe about a minute. Yeah, I think. Let me think. We're doing almost a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, I'd say about a minute, a minute or two. I I don't know. I just have this strange feeling that oh, we're, we're speeding. I have a strange feeling that we're a little bit... I feel like we're just a little bit uh, compressed. That looks really weird. Although that was nice to overtake, but that was a very short freight train. It must be shunting something. But a class 37 shunting something like that. Yeah, is this the next station? Is this... If we've got a... If we've got a tight or tight-ish uh, right-hander there we go there is the tightest right-hander and then there was a second one. yes that would be Hitchin Hitchin I believe let's give ourselves some half power yeah I, I I don't know I just feel like maybe everything seems a little bit compressed It's difficult to keep this train on speed, to be honest. And I, I am so tempted that when, when the AWS kicks in again, finally, I'm tempted to press Q like I have been doing for years. Right, what are we in? We're in throttle position two. So if I were to kill that throttle, get ourselves down to 100 miles an hour, Yeah, 
Okay, if I were to do that and get ourselves down to 100 miles an hour, which at the moment we're not getting down to one, we're not getting down to 100. It's not happening. Very slight amount of brakes. Maybe that will get us down to 100. Just an ever so slight amount of braking. No, a bit more on the brakes. Just very, there we go. Let's release that now. Why does it do that? I'm not sure. And then we put ourselves into throttle two. Throttle position two might just hold us at 100 here. I do like that rattle of the wheels. I've always liked those noises. That's such a classic train noise, that is. Can you hear that from outside? Uh, it seems to keep the same noises. It's just, it's just such a nice classic noise. This is quite a long train. I think throttle position 2 should, should do the trick here for us. I'm learning. I'm learning the train. Which is good. I mean, the train shouldn't be going over 100 miles an hour anyway, so... You know... Let's see how far we get in this video. So if we've just gone past Hitchin, the next stop should be... Uh, I don't know, it's another, it's another tiny, tiny one, isn't it? It's just in the middle of the countryside and uh, little towns here and there. Think about, think about England and... Oh, look, that's an old signal. The thing about England and the thing about... Uh, oh, we probably need a little bit more power. Wow, we're, we're on two track here. I didn't realise the... East Coast Main Line went down to two track for for a certain period of time. I thought it was four track all the way. Yeah, we certainly need. I think because we're uphill, we're going to need a little bit more power here. Ah, and then it goes back up to four track. Um, interesting. Very interesting. And let's get this power. Let's get this power going again. Obviously, we lost some speed there on the uphill should be able to now that we're on the downhill again no I keep pressing the S instead of X now that we're on the downhill if we can get ourselves back up to pa uh, back up to speed we should be okay no, we're, we're, it's taking a while to get back up to speed we're doing 92 miles an hour this is unacceptable too slow too slow some very old some very old um, trucks there. Back to four aspect signals. Whistle is required. So you, you saw that uh, the W sign, and that was for this level crossing right here. That's what that was for. Not that you couldn't not hear this train coming. This train was so loud. You could hear it's coming from a long way away. It was really, really loud. All right, should we give it a little bit more power? I think we should. So back up on the power, and let's see what we get. Is that another major level crossing? Yeah, it's another slightly bigger one. All right, so is this our next station coming up? I have no idea. And I don't know what this station is. I don't know, even know if it is the station that I'm, I'm thinking of. I, I genuinely don't. This could be any station, to be honest. What was that noise? Whistle again. Okay. So there's a little bit more power here. I am now genuinely lost. I have no idea where we are. Um, I don't know this part of the, the... the track. I don't know this part of the route. Need to whistle again. 
As a matter of fact, there is another train coming. Should we go outside for this one? Let's go outside for this one. It's another freight train. Uh, class... Is that class 43? For some reason, they're very short. Although those two said ESO on it, which I was quite... amused by. That's a class 43. I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've gone on these sort of engines in this sort of setup. I have no idea where we are. I'm just now we're just pottering along, uh, uh, seemingly lost. Is this Sandy? Maybe maybe this is Sandy coming up. Oh look, now we've got another train. This one's a passenger train. You're going to get stuck in traffic. Your little commuter train going into London. Perhaps this is Sandy, I don't know. Mm. This could be Biggleswade? No, no, I, don't, I, I think Biggleswade goes the other way. So this has got to be Sandy, right? Yeah, I feel like this is Sandy. Which means our next stop would be what? Um... Huntington? No, there's got to be... There's another station before that. It's very confusing. Very, very confusing, it is. We're just going, we're just going to potter along now, literally. Now, we have got fairly far. I, I have to admit, we have got fairly far, so that's... That's good. I believe the distance that we've travelled so far would be about the same distance that a uh, standard train sim world, maybe, no, no, a standard train simulator 2018, standard distance for train simulator 2018 seems to be what we have travelled so far, so the fact that we've already gone past that is pretty good, I mean, if we look at our odometer there, there you go, we've done. 40, 46 miles almost. So that's that's a big thing. We've done 46 miles. I think London to Reading, which is in even in trains in world, we've got London to Reading. That's only 30 odd miles. I think Reading's only 32 miles away from London. So, you know, the fact that we've actually managed to do 46 miles already and with no end in sight, I do wonder if we are going all the way to Edinburgh. I assume we are. I think I remember reading somewhere that uh, uh, that's what what's going to happen. But uh, then again, what do I know? Again, the only problem with it is, and I think this is this is just a problem, a generic problem with with train simulators, is that on long journeys like this, it does get a little bit dull and a little bit oh dear. Um, you know, uh, Elizabeth, I don't know what to do now. That's a very low power line. Somebody needs to lift that power line up. And we've had a stop. Is this a crash? Is this a pause? I don't know. Something's clearly happened. Uh, what does this mean? Well, we got a certain distance, didn't we? We managed to get... 47 miles in. I suppose in an old old sim like this, you would expect crashes. I suppose that's where I'm going to end. We, we got 40, 44 minutes into this. I assume that there is, we can get all the way. I just assume that this is just a, a standard bug, which uh, would happen. So I'm going to end it there, because it's, it's crashed. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. If I figure out exactly what's happened here, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm assuming it's just something, um, a combination of my computer components and this sim and me trying to fiddle around with it, as I do with all my uh, games. I do try and fiddle around with, with them to show the best quality and the best sort of gameplay for YouTube. Um, and obviously multiple monitor it's trying to render the same thing to two monitors so on and so forth but anyway uh like i said like subscribe 
comment if you're watching this on twitch follow thumbs up and do support me on patreon link to that is in the description box below i would massively massively appreciate your support it would help me out a huge amount and uh, i will figure out what happened here and also i really want trains to make a new sim i really want them to make a new sim if it comes out next year i think that would be really really awesome and even if it just starts with the one this one route east coast mainline i think that would be absolutely incredible so trains if you're watching this i want to see that i really really want to see that thank you very much for watching once again and i will see you guys next time in trains a new era